One thing we really like is an opportunity to, to do things over. So let's try that again. Um, so thank you. Good evening. It's really great to be with you tonight. And it's an honor to welcome you to our 161st graduation ceremony, celebrating our outstanding class of 2024. We're really proud of our long history serving our, our rural communities, students from all sorts of places. And as we reflect on our, our school's legacy and how this class contributes to it, I remembered a poem from Georgia Johnson uh, entitled, Your World. In it she writes, your world is as big as you want it to be. Excuse me, as big as you make it. While Woodstock Union High School and Middle School is considered a small school by many standards, this class has made us big in numerous ways. From winning state championships, performing plays in all sorts of genres, excelling in AP exams, pursuing internships, starting successful businesses, and representing us around the globe. Their achievements are a testament to their vision and hard work. We are all inspired by them. The class of 2024 will leave us with many great memories, but they're ready to move on and expand their world. So we start our night. First, I want to thank Mr. Trudeau and the graduation band. Thank you to our many speakers. You're going to inspire us all sorts of stories of the class of 24 to our speakers. Thank you to the faculty and staff. Um, your support for these students is unwavering. So faculty and staff, please. Thank you to our friends and community members for joining us this evening and sharing in the pride and joy to this momentous occasion. And my deepest thank you to parents and families. No one has worked harder through love and care to get these kids where they are today. Congratulations and thank you so much. I'm now pleased to introduce our senior class advisors, Mrs. Jennifer Settle and Ms. Sherry Sousa. Esteemed faculty and staff, families and friends, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2024. We, the senior class advisors, welcome you to Woodstock Union High School and the final event of the year, graduation. 
My name is Jennifer Settle. I am the proud director of curriculum instruction and assessment for our school district. Good evening. My name is Sherry Souza. I'm the proud superintendent of Mountain View Supervisory Union. Seniors, as we gather here today, we can't help but draw parallels between the adventure we returned from on Monday, whitewater rafting down the Kennebuck River in Maine, and your time learning at Woodstock Union High School. From the moment you started high school, you embarked on a voyage of discovery, growth, and resilience. Your first year was only partially on campus due to COVID. Maybe we could call that the stuck in the eddy year. But luckily, you paddled out and made it to 10th grade for in-person learning. Through the next few years, you encountered rapids of exams, whirlpools of deadlines, quiet moments of reflection, thrills of achievement, and probably more eddies. But through it all, you paddled on just as you did on the Kennebuck River and 54 degree water. As you prepare to navigate the currents of your future, remember the lessons you've learned on this journey, and most importantly, the people who helped you along the way. The class of 2024 is starting a new tradition with this graduation, and it focuses on gratitude. At the end of today's ceremony, each graduate will have a carnation to give to someone that helped them make it through this journey. Graduates, we hope you will take a carnation as you exit and bring it to someone as a thank you. This could be a parent, family member, teacher, or friend. We also want to acknowledge that many of us are missing loved ones we wish could be here with us today. Please take a moment to think of them during today's ceremony and send thanks in a way that is meaningful to you. So fellow adventurers, as you paddle off into the great unknown, we urge you to hold fast to your dreams, to chart your own course, seize every opportunity that comes your way, and always remain thankful. We wish you well, and please keep us updated on your future adventures. We will miss you. <laughs> celebrate the class of 2024. I'm Farron. I'm Phoebe. And I'm Tori. And we are the co-salutatorians of the class of 2024. Tonight, we hope to paint a picture of the class of 2024 for all of you. When looking back on life, sometimes you can't help but create some sort of way to remember it. For some people, these are photographs or other grand creations, but it is something that we, as such a multidisciplinary class, have lots of experience with. Looking back on high school as a piece of art allows us to focus on how each interpretation is incredibly important. Artwork expresses and relates to the many phases of this closing chapter in our lives. One of the most distinctive visual differences between pieces of art is their difference in color. The colors change in brightness and shade in different light, but somehow they always come together to form a wondrous story. Color can express emotion and range from happy yellows to frustrated reds and even gloomy grays. However, it is the inclusion of all of these colors and emotions that makes the piece. Each day in the class of 2024, we went through a lot of emotions, and it was all the combination of all of them that made our class amazing. Each of us felt the reluctance to leave the house, the nerves of a big test, the dread of seeing the grade of said test, the excitement of lunch with friends, and the anticipation of a sports game. We felt the sense of relief when we walked into our favorite classroom, or the confidence boost that came from answering a difficult question correctly. The multitude of emotions captured in the painting of our class creates a thing of beauty. Every painting is made up of different elements. There may be a sky and a barn, or a house and a large lake. Each element is unique and adds something different overall to the painting. We all come from very different backgrounds. Some people live right here in Woodstock. Some people live as far as Pittsfield, Stockbridge, or Weathersfield. Some of us grew up on farms, or far out in the woods, or right here in the village. We have all experienced very different things during the first 17, 18 years of our lives, and we will continue to experience those wildly different things throughout the rest of the, our lives. 
We all continue to be involved in a wide variety of communities and jobs. Some people will go on to work in the STEM fields, some will go to business, the medical fields, technical fields, or the military. Throughout high school, everyone was involved in all those different activities that showed who they were, but they never stopped, stopped them from being friends with the others outside of those activities. Bookworms and artists, yo performers and athletes, no one was stuck to just one group. People broadened their horizons and always tried new things. Every time you go to a museum, there's always one piece of art that stands out, and for everyone, that piece of art is different. As we sit here today, reflecting on our high school experiences, some of us will look back and remember the long bus rides to sports events, championship wins, and our occasionally flooded fields. Others may recall our COVID year, being in bed while on Zoom, and our beloved green and white day schedule. Some will reminisce about their time spent throwing pottery on the wheel or performing live for, for you. Every one of us will have a different high school recollection, regardless of what we have learned from this experience and what we choose to remember. But above all, we will remember the people seated here today who represent every moment and every memory. For me, I will remember going through high school with one of my closest friends, whom I met on Crazy Hair Day and got to walk alongside today. Another friend whom I always laugh with when we remember the time she fell off my trampoline. And of course, a friend who had no hesitation to run through the woods in the middle of the night to get our targets during Senior Assassin. These people and countless others are what paint my high school experience. We will all remember, take away, and appreciate different things from high school, just like everyone appreciates and resonates with different aspects of art in the rest of the world. Something that can never be taken for granted when looking at the finished product of a painting is all the steps it took to get there. The process of creation took much more time and devotion that can be interpreted just by looking at the finished piece. In my four years at Woodstock, I had the absolute privilege of being on the Nordic skiing and cross-country running teams, both of which I'm incredibly thankful for. They not only gave me incredible friends and memories, but they also gave me an appreciation for the process. Both sports required us to work tireless hours for months on end, sometimes in questionable weather conditions, simply to race for less than 30 minutes. It was critical in these times to find joy in the practice and the people that surrounded you to pull you through. The class of 2024 was truly a powerhouse class for sports. Our painting includes multiple state titles representing thousands of hours of practice and devotion to the process, holding many memories we will hold on to forever. A painting never looks great until it's fully done. The pieces might not all fit together, and it might look weird, but in the end, it always works. There have been many times over the last four years where we've been a very separated class, like freshman year when only half of us were here at a time. But despite the challenges our class has gone through, we've created a pretty spectacular painting. No matter where I turned throughout my time here, there was always someone ready to help me. From getting help from someone who'd already taken a class, to getting a ride home from someone who lives in the complete opposite direction. Our class has always been there for one another, just like when we played tug of war. When we played first for the first time in sophomore year and beat everyone, and then we played again at the start of this year, and we did break the rope, we all came together. Our class showed up for championship, senior night games, and yo shows. We had friend, I had friends drive over an hour to support me and another student at a performance. I have created friendships that I know will last a lifetime, and I see that you all have those too. No matter how far you may be going or how close you may stay to home over the next few years, those friendships will last a lifetime. Each artist has their own inspiration. So finally, we'd like to express our gratitude and acknowledge those who made it possible for us to be here today. The majority of us would not be here today if it weren't for our parents and the people who raised us. Whether it was them waking us up at what seemed like the crack of dawn or serving as an inspiration for our dream careers and futures. While I am very guilty of failing to thank my parents, I can confidently say that I would not be standing up here today as one of the salutatorians if it were not for them. Most people recognize my mom for a clearly foreign accent, which my friends sometimes struggle to understand, but while her words may sound different to others, their influence has brought me here. As an immigrant from a much less fortunate country, my mom has ingrained in me the idea of the importance of education since I entered kindergarten. While I used to let the words go in one ear and out the other, over the past four years, I've learned to truly appreciate the impact and significance of a quality education. It should come as no surprise that the graduates sitting here today are off to prestigious colleges or successful jobs. And while we should be proud of ourselves for these accomplishments, we are not the only ones to attribute our success to. My friends, teachers, and most importantly, my parents are the reason I'm up here today. Without them, I do not know where I'd be going next year, what I would be doing with my life. Even though I do not always show my parents how grateful I was, I do have so much to thank them for. For pushing me to do my homework, for pushing me in sports, and for all the help my dad gave me when applying to the Air Force Academy. For me, it is truly the wonderful faculty and staff who choose to work in public education, 
that have made my time here at Woodstock. Each of you change the lives of so many people every day, and I could not be more grateful for how you shaped my education and who I am. And of course, I would not be here tonight without my wonderful family and friends who have shaped who I am as a person and to whom I look up to each and every day. As we take today to reflect on the past and look to the future, we hope you will take this moment to take pride in all you have achieved and form big dreams for all you will. Remember to enjoy each step along the way, thank the people that help you, and don't take, too, take life too seriously. And even though none of us have ever taken a painting class, we don't exactly know what we're talking about, we believe we've created a pretty good painting together. A painting that shows how many things we've accomplished and all the great things we will do in the future. We are so proud to see each of you here today and proud to be celebrating this milestone with you all. Congratulations, graduates. We cannot wait to see what each of you accomplish in the next chapter. Alma mater. Our strong bond can ne'er be broken. Formed in Woodstock High. Far surpassing wealth unspoken. Sealed by friendship's tie. Alma mater, alma mater. Deep graven on each heart. Shall be found unwavering true. Till we from life shall part. Alma mater, alma mater. Good evening, everyone. Thank you to all the parents, family, community members, and friends who are here today to recognize the class of 2024. I am grateful for the people in my life who have gotten me to this moment and for the opportunity to share some words with you all. On behalf of my class, thank you to our parents, teachers, administrators, bus drivers, mentors, coaches, and any others who have given your time and support to help us reach this occasion. I'm finding it difficult to believe that four years ago, my classmates and I entered high school. Well, I should specify that I can't believe that it's been four years since half of my classmates and I, for half of the time, wearing masks and fostering a mistrust of people who went on vacation, entered high school. Shout out to my Monday, Thursday, last names, A through L COVID group. <laughs> um, the class of 2024 did not in any sense have a normal freshman year experience but it made for an exciting sophomore year when I got to discover if my teachers' faces actually looked how I imagined them to. It was a rocky way to start a new chapter in our lives, but we're here now. We've made great friends, learned the value of hard work, found academic and extracurricular success, and survived standardized testing. So what we can establish today is that while beginnings are often the most memorable parts of a story, it is not where you started, but what you do along the way that matters in the end. As we all know, Woodstock Union High School is a small school in a small town in a small state. I used to wish I went to, I used to, wish I went to a bigger and fancier school like the one in High School Musical, with all the people, a huge cafeteria, and spirited flash mobs in the middle of class. In all seriousness, though, I thought that I was missing out on this classic, big American high school experience. Woodstock had its challenges, such as fire alarm malfunctions that helped us hone our emergency response skills, and heaters that rattle comfortingly and smell sweetly of propane. <laughs> but as I prepare to move on to the classic, big American college experience, I have realized that there is nothing small about the sort of community that we have in this place. A couple of fun social outings for high schoolers at Woodstock are visiting the gas station in town or driving half an hour to Target. As Vermont native musician Noah Kahn said, the intersection got a Target and they're calling it downtown. <laughs> Although it can be difficult to find new things to do around here, there are many parts of this unique high school experience that I, and I'm sure my classmates as well, will miss. 
I'm going to miss swimming in the river during free blocks and after hot track practices. I'm going to miss opening up the local newspaper and seeing my classmates winning sports games. And I'm going to miss walking to the farmer's market for lunch and running into various people that I know. Not everyone goes to a school where your teachers can also be alumni, your coaches, your friends, parents, your community members, or all of these things at once. All of this is to say to my fellow students that there's a lot of value in growing up in a small and close-knit town like this that you can bring with you as you move forward. And for those of you who are moving on to bigger places and bigger cities, sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding, the city's great too. Um, no matter where we're going, we can bring the support of this community with us, which is a pretty special thing. Now, according to Google, a good valedictorian speech includes pieces of advice or wisdom for graduates as they move into the adult world. I will not claim to be a qualified advisor because I haven't graduated yet either, but I'm going to try by sharing two seemingly unrelated stories. The year before I moved to Woodstock in fourth grade, I visited Woodstock Elementary and the class that I would be joining that fall, almost all of whom I'm graduating with today. When I got to the school, I was intrigued by how different everything was from the school I came from and how strange the kids there looked. What nobody told me was that it was crazy hair day at Woodstock that day. <laughs> I didn't learn this fact until I went outside for pickup saw a girl with her hair tied up over a cup like Cindy Lou Who and decided that something was up. Before I knew that this wasn't any other regular day at Woodstock Elementary, I decided that this must be how it is. Everywhere you go, even if it's only an hour and a half from where you came from, things and people are completely different. In Woodstock, there were gym teachers with Bob Marley dreads, boys with foot-high mohawks, and girls with five space buns. As children, we don't have the same preconceived notions about people as we do now. Believing in the goodness of others comes more naturally because we don't judge people as immediately. As we get older, we develop our ideas of what is right, acceptable, and normal. And when other people don't fit our mold, we judge them often before we know anything about them. Last summer, I met a woman who reminded me just how wrong these judgments can be. Last summer, I worked on the Idaho Conservation Corps. Every week, we would be out in the mountains or the desert doing hard labor, and each weekend, we would travel into the nearest town to shower and restock on food. One weekend, we dragged our packs through the 104 degree heat into the laundromat. I will be the first to admit that we looked rough. Our skin and uniforms were dirt stained, and our hard hats had gouges from crawling through aspen groves. While we were waiting for our laundry, my friend struck up a conversation with a woman who told us she was a former youth correctional officer. A little bit later, she left and came back with big packages of water that she had bought for us. She said that we looked like we needed it, which we definitely did. She didn't know who we were or what type of work we were doing, but she became the beloved bringer of water to our group that day. In all honesty, when I'd first seen that woman at, in the laundromat, I never anticipated speaking to her. Before my friends started talking with her, I decided that she looked intimidating. And I judged her character before I knew anything about her. But that day, she ended up being a light in our hot and dusty tunnel. What I learned from these experiences is this. Sometime in the course of growing up, I developed the tendency to subconsciously judge people based on their appearance, opinions, and backgrounds and because of this, probably missed out on getting to know a lot of cool people. In today's world, especially with the prevalence of social media, we are constantly exposed to the ills of the world and negative news that even subconsciously can start to convince us that we're surrounded by bad people who are out to get us. Sometimes it feels like it only gets harder and harder to believe in the goodness of others. That woman in Idaho reminded me to try to see people the way I would have on Crazy Hair Day, with acceptance and a willingness to try to understand before forming judgment. To my fellow graduates, I'm not saying that all people are good and that you should ignore negative news. On the contrary, there are a lot of things in our world that need to be fixed. And I think that all of you have an incredible capacity to contribute to this better world. 
What I'm saying is that yes, entering the adult world can be daunting, but there are so many good things and good people out there. As you move into the future, remember to lead with the desire to understand rather than judge. Remember to never stop believing in good and never stop believing in people. Thank you. Let's talk Union High School. A community of learners, thinkers, and doers. With words from our teachers, our students, Joy Harjo, John O'Donoghue, Bonham, Kermit the Frog, Neil Bartram, F. Scott Fitzgerald. Directions, Directions to you. Follow them. Stop. Turn around. Go the other way. Left. Right. Mine. Yours. We become lost. Unstudy. Take a deep breath. You will not always be lost. You are right here in your time, in your place. How can we create a just world? What patterns exist in Why the world? Why do words matter? Do you wonder? Philosophical thinker. Seamus Powers will write a novel someday. Loves volleyball. Home chef. Future doctor goes down rabbit holes. Following topics of interest. Matt Abrams thinks outside the box. Truly intellectually curious, self-directed. Mac a million. Famously flexible and flippable. A whiz of the physics of what a body can do. With a piercing insight into literature, Cameron Youngling, master choreographer with a three-dimensional essay, is monstrous. He's a talented artist and actor. Who danced the Sugar Plum Fairy in the Nutcracker. A force to be reckoned with. Best EA in all the land. Delia, Delia Morgan, Morgan holds a wealth of knowledge, writes with a slight. Distills what matters in literature and history. And knows how to whip a sophomore's U.S. history paper into shape. With the back of her hand. A dedicated and talented humanist. Artist. And French student. Charlotte Newton, Newton, athletic. Creative thinker. With the potential to be a professional artist. Knows when to count. And when to let be. Capable of great depth and self-reflection. Jaden Beardsley. Made killer burritos for the NHX induction. Super skier. Kiki <laughs> Grillo Show. Play queen. Can be back, Kiki. Amazing professional baker. Loves to dance. Ferris Dayton, world explorer, language ambassador, future neurosurgeon, cross country captain, spirit leader, and team player known as Far Runner. Hagee Todd, deep thinker, creative potter, game maker, New York Times puzzler, javelin thrower, Doug Barr, Dougie Fresh, community minded, holds the record for the funniest presentation ever in English too. Sweet vintage car, outgoing and friendly. Ezra, Ezra Lockhart, Lockhart is a creative thinker. Likes being in the spotlight. Soccer lover. Naruto fan. North Star. Guidance as we look up to the brightest white. Who am I? Hoping it leads you where you want to go. What are my interests, strengths, and abilities? Hoping that it knows where you should be. What people, places, and experiences do I hope to fill the next decade of my life? We find our peace here in the white. Gather our strength, our breath and learn how to be. Sophia Nissenblatt. A force in the classroom. An eye for presenting. Organizing. Team building. Reina Colombiana. Art history TA. Monster Moves team leader. Kuba Marzik. Phenomenal photographer. Disciplined student. Trilingual. Tuba. Nature lover. Acting on her dreams in theater and writing. Clara Schordel. Is heading to lands far from Vermont. Compassionate and creative. Robotics leader. Photographer. Committed and kind. Great French student. Phoebe Anderson. Fastest Googler in class. She'll find the facts everyone needs. To figure out an illusion. A character. Or a connection for meaning making. Holocaust education advocate. Involved participants in the virtual exchange. Tesla. Diligent. Awesome mentor of West. Legislative page at the Vermont State House. And again in the U.S. Senate in Washington, D.C. Piercing writer and editor. 
Mindset extraordinaire. Lovely French speaker. Amelie Fabre. Gifted language student. World traveler. Secret Statsky. One heck of a shot putter. Great teacher and TA. Mac Farrow. Made his mark with Banana Man. Loves computers. Outdoor adventures. Holds quiet intelligence. Andrea Jeunet. Excellent writer. Adventurous. Kind and helpful. La fin. Friend to many. Ben Johnson. Chief. Good skier. And knows a lot about cars. Had a fast dash on the track scene. It's still there somewhere. Heading to Rutgers University. With insight emerging from the circus. Jonas Weissach is a talented chef. With a great sense of humor. Creative with Clive. Most outspoken in the school. Knows how to push your buttons. <laughs> Grace Motorai. Diligent, smart, thoughtful. Amazing basketball player. Talented painter of landscapes. And dogs. Loves Avengers and Marvel. Works hard, plays hard. Joseph Goes, good musician. Wicked drunk. Always friendly. And kind. East. East. The sun rises, red. Morning heat on our face, even in the coldest morning. The sun gives life. Spring plant sale at the greenhouse. Energy. Fantastic fungi. Nourishment. French students enjoy gastronomic experience. Gather strength, pull it in. Sophomores check out diverse career fields on sophomore shadow day. Be right where you are. Each of us is an artist of our days. The greater our integrity and awareness, the more original and creative our time will become. Vera Windisch is a baker extraordinaire. With a great attitude. An advocate for change. Expert crocheter. A fan of laughter and lit class. Ross Lotties. Policy changer. William Ogar, a talented actor. Who leads the other players with humor. And grace. Poetry out loud, runner up. Gentle, thoughtful, and kind to all. Always ready to lend a pencil. Already a business owner. Tanner Tarleton is creative. And entrepreneurial. Gavin Samuel. Amazing big brother. Great vocabulary. Soulful. And dependable. Ryan Siepel. Thoughtful writer. Gentle soul. Works well with small children. Katie Austin. Brilliant engineering mind. A builder. A decoder. Fearless rider of Sirius. Robotics. <laughs> Soft-spoken and strong. Sage Campisi, kind and thoughtful. A lover of animals. Plants. And all things living. Eli Fielder. Loves Garfield. The cat. Dependable. High. Every morning. Richard Seams. Entrepreneurial spirit. With a great understanding of finance. And willing to put in the work. Phoebe Goldberg. Great person all around. Reigning queen of the stats poster. Animal lover. Middle school dance queen. Funny, kind, and empathetic. Great traveler. Keani Harrington. Positive attitude in the face of adversity. Giving. Kind. Resilient. Interviewed young adult author Joe Knowles. Serves as an inspiration to her friends. Works at Worthy Kitchen. And the Woodstock Inn. Lindsay Bacon. Talented artist. Folk and fairy tales. Avid reader. Loyal friend. Zach Marsoff Tan. Creative thinker. Likes the spotlight. Big heart. Loves Naruto. Cole Waters. Strong advocate. With immense compassion for others. Devoted to helping people learn how to read. Has come out of their shell. And make great strides. Future actor? South. Butterfly slits. Spreads yellow beauty. Earth Day. We've come to this moment in time. Step by step. Latin Day at UVM. We don't always listen to directions. We let the current carry us. Woodstock Madrid Exchange. Push us. Force us along the path. We stumble. Get up and keep moving. Dance Theater of Harlem workshop. And once you get that map out, you won't be able to refold it. No matter how smart you are. So forget the map. Roll down the window. And whenever you can, pull over and have a picnic with a pig. And if you can help it, never fly as cargo. Hannah Gubbins. Hockey star. Polite buffle. Ready to laugh. Fierce competitor. Logan Knox. Talented athlete. Precision, precision, precision. precision. A real study of practice makes perfect. Gifted artist. Lolo away the place. And its people. To high type. Leo Kinner, rock climber. Independent. Good sense of humor. Thoughtful, engaged student. Excels in French. How does she make fast track look so easy? Joining only two other players in Woodstock's history, Gracie LaPearl became a member of the Girls Hockey 100 Point Club. Pottery master. Hard worker. Great with kids. Laura Henty. Softball captain. Athletic. Kind and caring. Humorous. Super articulate. Meridian Brown. All around, amazing. Strong, creative, four-year varsity football player. 
disc as a champ. Team captain in two sports. Astonishing ice hockey roller. Charlie Collie. Great athlete. Softball and basketball captain. Loyal friend. Good sense of humor. Autumn Godota. Polite thoughtful. Great hair. Poet. Fights the morning rise and shine. And arrives on time with spirits and verve. I stand on a marble that hurdles through space. My orbit and path are unique. Around me the planets, they swirl and they race. While I walk here humble and meek, I'm held to the earth by a force I can't see. Day. 
I will remember my faults and attempt to start anew. That's what drives my goals, being happy and secure enough to make a home for the current and future important people in my Living life. Living here in Vermont will support my visions by helping me to be able to enjoy alone time and silence occasionally, and the dark roads. The dream right now that I'm currently striving towards is a career that I will enjoy, an enjoyable lifestyle. When I get to college, I want to make a lot of friends and not be afraid to be myself. If I have learned anything from my past, it is that I am stronger than I think I am. Ethan Havel. Quiet and insightful. Man with a plan. Self-directed. Ali Tarleton. Creative. The sweetest smile and laugh. A gentle human. Who is extremely kind. Sky Cully. A hero for Change the World Kid. Chialito. Unabashed, swift. Vivid, forceful. And creative. With her takes on classic and modern tales. And has something wild. And insightful. To say about it all. Joseph Sukunakis. Potential to be a pro artist. Super insightful. Kind, quiet, easygoing. Surreal collage painting. Giuseppe Franza, aka Gleef, strong work ethic, a member of Change the World Kids, interested in history, including art history, nice shoes, Jordan O'Neill, talented chef, always has a kind word, a friendly face that matters, Brexton Eckler, motorcyclist, photographer, can fix your mountain bike, Zev Wysocki, hard work out dark side, where's Zev? On the mountain, Remy Malik, self-reliant, quiet sense of humor, creative, top-notch doodler, mountain school rock star, Beneath that quiet facade, Jazz Lance has a fierce determination, wants to fly the fastest planes the military owns, knows how to fly gliders as well, engines, or no engines, she's in the air, Brooke Hecker, part of the Spanish Free Four Musketeers, loves her dog Mabel, great with kids, Josh Huff, tore up the basketball court, and the baseball field, inquisitive, pretends not to smile, works at Remento. Brooke Longley, a gifted creative writer, hard worker, country girl, loves the outdoors, Starting her career at First Impressions. Brendan Barber. Will run his own business someday. Most helpful employee at Ace Hardware. Or someone who says the wildest things. Some of which shouldn't be said. He truly is a caring person. With a big heart. Georgia Tarleton. Smart and self-directed. Not afraid to speak her mind. Good listener. Django Farinas. Had long hair. Until he donated it to cancer patients. A member of Barn Arts Youth Theater. Completing service projects in Malawi and Peru. Pursuing political science. Or international relations. Bodhi Wood. A good friend to his peers. Secretly loves trigonometry. Great athlete. Skier. Wants to go into healthcare. Did a medical mission trip in Nicaragua. To find. To be found. To be understood. To be seen. Heard. Felt. You are. Breath. You are memory. You are touch. You are right, right here. here. This is the time for bold measures, and this is the country, and you are the generation. That degree of yours is a blunt instrument. Go forth and build something with it. Good evening, family, friends, staff, community members, and most importantly, my fellow graduates. Um, my name is Maggie Mello, the senior class president. Thank you all for joining us on this celebratory day, and thank you for all the support and guidance each one of you has given us over the years. My grandfather, a collegiate football coach and professor, gave me public speaking advice I'll share with you tonight. Stand up, speak up, and shut up. So I'll try to make this quick, as I know we're all probably itching to grab our diplomas and run. First, I want to take a minute to reflect on our time here at Woodstock. Today, we gather to celebrate not just the accomplishments of our academic journeys, but the spirit of a class unlike any other. Even though our interests identities and backgrounds are quite different. We've had the opportunity to get to know each other very well. 
Our class has an unbeatable presence here at Woodstock. We dominate every athletic team. Go girls across tomorrow. 7.30 at Norwich, be there. <laughs> we, we are incredibly active community members, participate in amazing arts and theater productions, have mastered many technical skills, and have a blend of very interesting personalities. Next year, some of us will be scattered across the globe, while others will stay in Vermont or New England. The bonds we've formed are unique to our class, a network of support that doesn't end with a diploma, but extends into the future near or far. As we stand on the edge of our individual futures, I want to talk about a choice. Not just a simple choice, such as what Duncan drank to get, or a difficult choice about the career, career path you will follow, but a more important choice, the choice to be happy. Happiness is not something that some people can have and other people cannot, but builds through a series of decisions we make every day. It is found in the warmth of our relationships, the thrill of our distinct passions, and the comfort of the environments we choose to spend time in. In your post high school life, don't shy away from your happiness. Surround yourself with people that fill you up, those who challenge you to grow, who celebrate your achievements, and who support you through the tough times. Happiness is not the absence of problems. Sadness is a normal and healthy emotion, and its presence can make us pause and re-examine how we deal with situations. Times like these can help us determine what next choice will bring us back to our own happiness. As we embark on our own journeys, wherever they take us, let's commit to this choice. Follow your passions, find your people, and visit your happy places. While building joy, purpose, and meaningful connections in our own lives, we should not forget the impact we have on others, too. Be that support for others. Celebrate their achievements. Lift them up when they are down. Make the world happier for all. Congratulations to the class of 2024. Thank you. Superintendent Sousa, I confirm that these students have met our graduation requirements, qualifying them to earn a Woodstock Union High School diploma. It is my pleasure to begin awarding the diplomas with the class president. Margaret Ella Mello. Do this. Sophia Doris Nissenblatt. Mary Lila Becklin. Sky Elizabeth Cully. Leah May Cooner. Phoebe Grace. Goldberg, Tori Leah McNamara, Farron Elizabeth Staten,
Maxwell Eric Abrams. <laughs> Phoebe Marley Anderson. <laughs> Catherine Deborah Austin. <laughs> Lindsay Elizabeth Bacon. <laughs> Brendan Barber. <laughs> Douglas Bard. <laughs> Jaden Ryder Sky Beardsley. <laughs> Celeste Royce Lily Belial. Ilya Botchkov. <laughs> Meridian Eve Remmel. <laughs> Sage Marie Campisi. Charlie May Crowley. Harper Davidson. Brexton Riley Eckler. Amelie Maymare Fabra. Django Farinas. Cormac Clinton Farrell. <laughs> Eli Fielder. <laughs> Giuseppe Vincent Franza. <laughs> Genevieve Anna Ganoda. Joseph Goes. <laughs> Kiera Jaden Grillo Choke. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Gubbins. <laughs> Sam Gustav Ham.
Theani Fernanda Harrington. Ethan Havel. Brooke Ryan Hecker. Laura and Elise Hendy. Joshua Matthew Huff. Benjamin Roy Johnson. Andrea Stella Gracinda Journey. Logan Maureen Knox. Owen Jeffrey Cross. Jasmine Elizabeth Lance. Gracelyn Mary LaPearl. Ezra William Lockhart. Brooke Nicole Longley. Remy Ruth Malik. Zachary Martzoff Tan. Kuba Marzek. Chloe Beach Masillo. Grace Havland Motorai. Delia Jean Morgan. Lucas E. Morgan. <laughs> Michaela Ann Myers. Charlotte Elizabeth Noonan. Jordan William O'Neill. <laughs> William George Obard.
Helen Cash Polly. Griffin Nichols Marceau Pacconi. Seamus Matlack Powers. Charles Sebastian Rice. Jacob Sidney Roth. Gavin Hugh Samuel. Ryan Seipel. Claudia Louise Shoemaker. Clara Joan Shortle. Richard Edward Seams. Ella Robin Stanton. Quinn Lavin Stickney. <laughs> Jacob Keith Stone. <laughs> Hakey Tons. <laughs> Ali Ray Tarleton. Georgia Reed Tarleton. Tanner Tarleton. Joseph Alexander Sukanakis. Cole K. Waters. Hannah May Watson. Vera Murray Windish. Bodie Webster Wood. Jonas Wysocki. Zeb Wysocki.
Cameron Christina Youngling. This is what we talked about. So graduates, one last lesson before you graduate, uh, graduate tonight. Why do we turn the tassel? Lots have asked me that. The tassel before graduation symbolizes your time as a student. When you move it to the other side, you are confirming your newfound graduate status. For high school students, the graduation tassel starts on the right side. The tassel is then moved to the left at the end of the ceremony. Here we go. With the authority vested in me by the Mountain View Supervisory Union and the State of Vermont, I hereby certify that these students have met the requirements to earn a Woodstock Union High School Diploma. Congratulations. <laughs>